Hey guys, today we're gonna finally uh, start putting some electronics in the 152. So the first part that I'm gonna work on is the fuselage. The first step with adding electronics to the fuselage is cutting out these panels. There's one on the top. I just use a cutting blade on a Dremel tool and then use a sanding blade to finish it up. And then there's two on the bottom, one under the main gear and one under the nose wheel. Here's all the electronics I got for the airplane. I'll leave a description down below what I got. Uh, I'm gonna start taking the servos out and setting them up, put the grommets in there, and then I'll start adding the uh, servos for the elevator and the rudder. For the servo arms, I just gotta cut off uh, three of the pieces and then clean it up with the Dremel tool, and then uh, add them onto the rudder and the elevator servos. Uh, then I hook the electronics up and make sure the servos are centered, and then I mark it with a, a Sharpie and use my Z-Bend pliers. Now I'll start working on the nose steering, so I'll add the servo and then we'll use uh, 1.5 millimeter wire and then uh, use the Z-Bend pliers again and uh, make a wire for connecting the servo. I'll just test it and make sure it works okay and then we'll add it back into the fuselage and then we'll glue these uh, pins in for the axles. The next thing we'll start working on is the wing. So we'll just take uh, two long extensions and hook them to the servos for the ailerons and then we'll feed those into the wing. And then we'll add the uh, flap servos in also. They don't need any extensions on there for now. We'll use the 1.5 millimeter rod again for the controls for the flaps and the ailerons and we'll just connect all those in and uh, attach the servos in place in the wing. Next thing we'll start working on is the motor. So first thing is we need to reposition the shaft. So we have to pull the motor apart. There's a clip on the back and then there's two Allen wrenches. So you pull all that out and then you can just tap that uh, shaft down. Now we need to take the Dremel tool and file a flat spot there so that way that has a spot for the set screw to set on so that way it doesn't it keeps the shaft from moving. And then we'll just attach it all back together and then you can see now that the shaft is moved through and it's ready to mount in the airplane. So we'll wire it up uh, with the ESC and we'll test it and make sure it spins the right direction. So as you hook it up it spins the wrong direction so we'll just swap out the uh, yellow wire and the red wire and it'll spin the right direction and then I'll just add a long extension and I'll just kind of feed this uh, ESC down into the fuselage and then attach uh, the screws on the front to mount the motor. The way that I position the ESC in the fuselage I need a little bit of an extension to connect the ESC to the battery you can just lay the ESC in the kind of same area that the battery sits in, but it just doesn't look very clean. And there's just more stuff in the way when you're trying to mount the battery in place. Okay, now we have uh, all the servos mounted in. Let's start wiring it together. So here I'm going to use a DX6 controller and a six-channel receiver. Now this makes a little bit of a problem here. See, this, this is a diagram, and I'm going to use two Y harness, one for the aileron and one for the nose doing. You can see the wing there. It's All the servos are in the same direction. So when you, if you add a Y harness to the flaps, uh, they will not work correctly because one will go up and one will go down. So you have to have the uh, flaps on different channels. Um, and for the ailerons, you can have those on different channels because one will go up and one will go down, which is how they should work. So the problem that I have is with the rudder and the steering, uh, they make the controls move in the opposite direction. So this Y harness is the one I'm going to hook up for the steering. So you can see I have it hooked up. The rudder goes to the left and the nose wheel goes to the right. So I need to swap that out. So the only way to do that is to take the servo apart and actually reverse the servo. So to do that, you just have to take those two leads off there that I'm swapping over. I'm swapping the two leads over on the motor and then take the board up and swap the two outer wires on the board and then just put the servo back together. It'll work just normally. It'll just work in reverse. 
So that way I can put that servo back in the nose steering and it will move the correct way and I don't have to have uh, more channels on my receiver. So there you can see it moves in the right direction and we're ready to go. So now I'm going to start working uh, on the wing. What I want to do is color code all of my leads, all my extensions from my receiver that hook to my wing. So that way I want to take it out to the field and I want to hook, up, hook it all up. Super easy. I just got to go blue with blue, yellow with yellow, and green with green. And I won't have to look at my receiver really closely and remember like, oh, what channel is what and what flap goes to what and all this stuff. I can just connect it all together. I don't have to think about it. And then I can throw the wing on and go fly it. So I got the flaps done. I'm going to build the Y harness for the aileron. So I'm just going to cut the wires. I have really long leads on there. So I just cut them right at the wing. And then I'm just going to add this uh, piece in there and then heat shrink it each wire and then I'm going to throw the large uh, yellow piece of heat shrink on there so that'll match up with the extensions from the receiver. Here's the extension from the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to add some black heat shrink tubes on there just to make sure all the wires kind of stay nice and neat together so that way it's you know just a little cleaner and a little easier once I put it down in the fuselage and uh, just makes it look a lot nicer and neater. And then I'm just going to use a little hot glue and glue the receiver in. And I'm going to start setting up the batteries. So I got two batteries. These are four cell batteries. I'm going to go ahead and put a low voltage meter on there. I'm just going to zip tie it on there. That way I can plug it in to the battery once it's on the plane. Here's what all the wiring looks like now that it's all done. One of the last steps to do is uh, set the prop up. So the spinner, you just got to trim off of a couple pieces here. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and spray that blue to go with the paint scheme. And then uh, here's the prop and the prop adapter. And you can see there that the prop adapter doesn't actually fit through the prop. So we're going to use a 516 bit and drill that out. But there's still a plastic guide that goes on the back of the prop that'll keep it centered. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray the wingtips. I'm just going to use some uh, six millimeter tape and tape that off. And still going to use that green frog tape because that works the best on the fuselage. And I'll just spray that white. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the battery in the battery tray. So I'm just going to put some 3M Velcro strips on there and then just put it in the battery tray there and secure the Velcro. Okay, so we got all the servos and the motors put in. We're gonna hook up the battery and taxi it around a little bit to make sure everything works. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll have it out for the maiden flight shortly.